So, last day at home. Well, this isn't exactly where I grew up, <clears throat> but it's close. This is Christchurch. Check this out. So, just want to take you around the church and the river quickly. So Christchurch um, is east of Bournemouth and uh, Poole where I grew up and it's basically on the way to London. Still a good hour and a half from London here. This is a cemetery. We should always come and see the cemetery sometimes to basically know that our time is limited on earth and we should spend it. Um, and time is just worth a lot more than money. It's very hard to quantify because sometimes we get confused about these things. But uh, let me just try and, yeah, this looks like not that nice, but we're soon going to get to the nice part. I have mastered the art of riding without hands, as you can see. Okay, that's part, part of the old castle. Okay, I'll see you at the river. So here we go. Coming up to the bridge. Ooh, don't get killed. This is why bikes win over cars. Nah. Not uh, no over buses though. I'll probably get killed by this bus. Just look at that. Just cross over. I'm taking on a bike tour here. Just look at that is the why I say I grew up in a nice place. just yet. Look at these two fishing. Quaint little British towns. Is there another river over here? Let's go check it out. And then we'll come back. Let's check out the next river. Christchurch. Christ! There's someone's house. Oh, sorry. Wow, what a nice house. And that house too. Okay, let's go back to the nice part. The scenic part. With all these boats. Hopefully one day I'll get a boat. Probably never need to buy a boat. It's always better to rent, stuff like that. you back to the red light no problem hope the police don't see this <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a great journey you will embark on with me as your host remember if in doubt, travel. And if you can't travel, watch my videos. Look at this. Oh, it's, a, it's a swan. A huge swan. One of the heaviest birds. Heaviest birds alive. <laughs> Gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. And they're not the biggest wingspan, but they're heavy, the heaviest. Yeah, and you're so beautiful. You're growing up. This really one's well. a, 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 a only young. young chick. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think the mum, oh, the mum was over there. Your mum's gone now it's because she's just wandering away. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> yeah. Apparently they can break your arm with the neck. Oh, yeah, okay. That's why I was told oh, when I was a kid, never. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, they would just squeeze it, yeah? yeah. They can, I'm sorry. So they're MMA I'm experts. Before, yeah. I know, I am sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah, he wants some food, yeah. yeah. We're not meant to feed them though, I guess. Oh yeah. Not really. Uh, they're, they're, they're not into carbohydrates. Yeah. Processed yeah. carbs. 
that, well, normally you buy stuff from around the yeah. corner. That's where I normally I, And nuts for the squirrels. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you guys from here or are you just yeah. visiting? Yeah, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Just doing a bit of vlogging. How are you? I'm new to this vlogging thing, so. Oh, right. Because I'm going traveling, so I thought I might as well. Um, you know, take other people around who can't who can't be there. Yeah, you know, right. living vicariously through That's through it. my vlog. Ah, good luck. To so you. where why am I heading here? If you go down, down to the key. Yeah, if you go keep going round, yeah. you'll go all the way round to the key where you'll see about forty of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So, and some and adults too, right? Adults. You see an yeah, adult yeah. there. Yeah, mainly yeah. adults. Actually. But just keep going round. Yeah. And, and it'll tell you come up. You'll go over a bridge and turn left and then cobble street and you'll see it. Nice. Yeah. And they're all property yeah. of the Queen, right? But now the Queen's yeah. not not here. What's happened? What's who they're property of? That's a good question. <laughs> it's like remember we. I would think the it king. goes. Oh, well, no, I would think Charles, yeah. Goes to Charles. Charles now. So because I've always been told that, and now the Queen's not here, it's it's amazing to. Yeah. To. If you go, um, you know about the Priory. So if yeah. you go down here and go round, you can go in and sign a book of condolence, or and you can look at the flowers and so on. Oh, I might do that. It's just yeah. so if you go down here. Yeah. You keep yeah. going. You'll see it. So, um, and the entrance. Over there, is on, yeah. The entrance is on the high street side. Yeah. You can go in yeah. and you can sign a book of condolences. And, and what is this uh, this thing over here? This, this is old just, priory, this, yeah, this is part of the old sort of priory. There is a common, what they said it is, but if you go just around here, you can go in it and there's, a, there's plaques and everything telling you. Oh, okay, and free of entry. It looks oh, like yeah. there's no, <laughs> there's oh, no yeah, ticket no, office. No, no, no. You go around just go in. And Great, I could in. do that first and then sign the yeah. condolences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys signed it already? Yes. 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 Nice, thanks. So, all right, thank you for the advice. What's your, what are your names? Gary. Nice Leon. To meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, I'm Pat. Thank you so much. Very friendly. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, okay. I'm Just on a nice stroll today, yeah. Yeah, well, I've, yeah. I'm working from home today, so I've come out for yeah. 10 minutes because it's. That's one of the good things with COVID. Uh, now we can always be a bit more flexible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Thank you so like. much for your oh, guidance. Enjoy, enjoy yourself. Well, and yeah. you might find me on YouTube if, if I'm lucky. If I'm lucky because there's so much noise. There's so much content on YouTube. Are you are you under Leon? Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm not under Leon. I'm under a, a name called Lost Bunny. But it's it. Um, right now you can't even search for me because I haven't even uploaded videos. Yet. Uploaded this is like yet. Um, my day one, and then I'm going to the Balkans. And after that, I'm going to China, and then well, I'll work it out from China. Oh, right. Yeah. So the Balkans would be interesting, um, uh, especially like those countries like Albania and yeah, uh, Bosnia, yeah. where people think it's dodgy, but ah, I don't think. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll de de debunk that. Yeah. Well, that's it. But that's people normally are friendly wherever you go. It's really only. The government Powerful. and the Powerful yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> and if there's like interest with money or drugs, and then that's when it gets bad. But yeah. if you don't mess with that, that stuff, yeah. you're no. fine. Most people, normal people, are yeah. there just want to uh, yeah. get Yeah, and I saw videos of Iraq and Afghanistan, and they don't have a vendetta against the people. Of it was an American doing it, and and everyone's like, no, we like Americans. But they may say well, they not, they don't like America, or that means that's referring to the. American government. Yeah. yeah, that's not referring to the, to the people. American people. Same thing with the Chinese government. I, I was born in China. I grew up. I grew up here, um, actually in Poole. And yeah, there's a there's a there's a misconception between like the Chinese people and the government. And the government are totally different to the oh, people. Separate. And the government are sometimes very, you know, what they're doing in Xinjiang and stuff. Like, I don't know exactly know, but it's it can't be 100 percent good. Um, yeah. but, you know, I think all governments are the same, basically. Yeah. They're a little bit, you know, but people, people are friendly. But, what, what, do you, what do you think about Xinjiang? Just as a, just one question, like, do you, do you know much about it, or if you, or, or if you don't know, like, what's, what do you know about Xinjiang? As a British citizen, to be fair, having not been there, not a lot. Too busy yeah. doing other things, but. Yeah. Um, no, not, not really. Not I really would say that, you know, how much, what I would question is what you're seeing on the news, on the tabloids, how much of it is true. What is true, what is not, what's, um, you know, being spun. Yeah. Uh, it's propaganda. Um, this is the problem in this world at the moment. Yeah. You don't know what you're watching or reading is true. Yeah. No. Maybe they overblow the situation because, um, it's not exactly ethnic cleansing because I saw some videos there and if there was ethnic cleansing all the Xinjiang people would be like captured or whatever but they're not they're, they're, yeah. it's just uh, they're, they're, they were saying there were some re-education places and um, yeah, yeah. I, think, I think basically you just have to 
look at sort of like yourself mm. and mostly sort of like the people. Don't believe everything that you read, don't believe everything that you see because 80% of it is not true. Yeah. It's yeah. just made up to sell. But I think some of it is. Um, oh yeah, um, yeah. There's always going to be that outline, outline sort of like reason. Yeah, you kind of you know, they've just found uh, mass graves. Mass graves, yeah. So, yeah. You tell yeah. me what's going on. It, it shouldn't be happening in this day and age. But anyway, we get... Well, I'm there to investigate, that. hopefully, and not get captured myself. Right, well, I'll make sure you look after <laughs> You have a safe journey. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And basically, nice enjoy to meet you guys. yourself. Nice to meet you guys. Good really enjoy yourself. It's good to be able to shake hands again before it was all this elbow oh, fist bump right. stuff. <laughs> Great, have a lovely walk. Uh, you too. See ya, one. bye. Take care. Wow. The people of England, friendly, lovely people. Not, not like rude like some of the Americans say. That's just some people are rude. Doesn't represent everyone. The same thing with every country in the world. Obviously, that's a generalization, and that doesn't help you at all. But um, what I'm saying is, um, most people are good, and uh, we have to believe that. Um, but do look out for people who have an agenda and who are shady because. You know, you just get need to get a feel for that. That's that's uh, how I'm gonna hopefully stay alive on this trip. So let's check this out. This prayer priory. I'm not very good with my religious uh, church. What is this? So this town of Christchurch, Twynham, and this was a castle and a monastery transformed. Uh, now it's a settlement of twine. Oh wow. So that must be where, wait, the Priory uh, one, that's where we are. And then there's the, the fort, the tower. So let's check out the Priory. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. Look at this cricket. This is the British sport of cricket everywhere. There we go. A free prairie tour here. That's the tour. <laughs> not much, not, not very big. I guess it's uh, some form of church. <laughs> Good, good photo ops here. Yeah. Oh look, chimney. Look at this battlement. Where you can get your bow out or crossbow out to defend. This the settlement. Okay. Let's go on. Uh, What's around here? Wonder what's around here. Maybe we can get around. Oh, that's not a shortcut because there's a river there. I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> it looks like it though. Oh, make some fun videos. So let's go around. I'll catch you near the swans. I have to start the camera back here. This is such a nice little uh, path between the two bodies of water. More swans, seagulls, old oak tree. Let's see, where does this lead? Oh, I don't think my handlebars will fit. Great place to walk a dog. Wow. Wah wah wee wah! There it is. Christchurch, a nice little town in rural England by the sea. If you go east from here, then we get to Hampshire. And then if you go northeast, you get to London. There's a town called Westminster where I did an internship, IBM. And then 
after West, not Westminster. What is it? My mind is gone. Fall in. Everything will be over if I fell in. Yeah, that, that town was Winchester. I think I've got a brain freeze. I'm gonna run over these seagulls. Is it a crime? No, I'm not that cruel. <laughs> yes, it's Winchester. Oh, this is the, the circuit. Oh my god, I can't get up. I need to change gear. Lovely, and again, that's the probably a cathedral. And wow, I think this is more lovely than Bournemouth. Bournemouth is a bigger town, home of the Bournemouth Football Club, which is now in the West, uh, which is now in the Premier Division, Premier League. But yes, yeah, it's, it's nicer, it's more rural and idyllic and pleasant. But pool is nice, pool has the key. Um, that's where I grew up. But now my family live near this lovely settlement of Christchurch. Let's whiz around and go to, watch this track, watch these bike skills. Can you beat me, squirrel? Can you beat me? Oh, oh, he ducked out. I won. Oh, shh. Good thing the brakes are working on this. Oh, you, what do you want? He wants food. Okay, now to prove that it's uh, seaside town. Well, this is still the river, but this is the river mouth going into the sea. Shown by all the boats. Wow. Glorious. Okay, these are where all the they, those two lovely couple told me where the swans are. Oh, look at even more swans. They weren't exaggerating, there's probably a hundred swans here. Each of them thinking, oh, they are actually eating um, vegetation, probably on the ground. That's probably what they need to eat, not bread. Don't you? Well, it's more yummy bread, right? Go diving for some weed, weeds. So nice. How's it going? Hey. Yeah, in England, when we say hi, we sometimes say, Are you right? You're right. Um, it doesn't make any sense because you, there's no reply to that. That uh, It's not a question. Is that you're right? It's like, Hey, how's it going? And because I'm a bit, ooh, look at the wingspan. Now, mute swans are one of the, as I said uh, when I was talking about that couple, they're one of the biggest, uh, heaviest birds. They're weighing around almost 20 kilograms. <coughs> Check Wikipedia. But full grown adults can be at least 16 kilograms. Um, yeah. You're right, so you, to, you learn something new. You're right, and you don't have to reply with "I'm I'm having a terrible day" or "I just uh, uh, was diagnosed with cancer." Nobody cares. <laughs> oh. But if uh, if you said "I'm not all right," I'm sure someone will listen to you. It's just the equivalent of how's it going. 
But you can reply. You can be like, Are "You all right? Yeah, doing doing great." And you? But then usually people are just walking past you, like it's more like, "Hey, all right." End of the uh, slang English lesson. Wow, there's a water park here. Hello. Splash park. Oh, it's turned out to be a lovely day, even though it's not that uh, uh, sunny. Bit, this is usually what it is like in England. Actually, this is probably a good day. The average weather is worse than this. <coughs> More swans. This is a huge one. Fully grown swan, right? How's it going? You alright? Good, good, good. Just uh, riding around, uh, uh, trying some vlogging. This, how, how much do you think, it, it, how do you tell if they're male or female? I really don't know. You're just around them all the time, but you're not. <laughs> this is the first time I've been down here. Oh really? You look like, you, you look like you're here like, all the time. Oh, no, I'll ask her then if I fit him You look like a sailor. <laughs> Popeye. No, he's got a chance to come out on a one-off one with, with my neighbour. He's down here all the time. Yeah. It's, it's glorious sunshine coming through. I mean, I don't think we'll get much of this weather um, to come because it's now autumn. Soon it'll be winter. So. What are you guys up to? Are you guys going on the no, we've zodiac? On, no, we've been on the, the, the river and east. How, how was it? Was it was it good? It was, it was, oh, it's beautiful being on the yeah. river, but the engine's played out, so it kept breaking down. Okay. So, so <clears throat> he's an engineer, so he has to go home and strip it down. <clears throat> so where did you guys go uh, out to sea? Or? No, we went up, up the river. Up the river, okay. Yeah, out to sea, you'll get, it's a bit choppier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engines, obviously, yeah. Oh, what about the swans? <laughs> <laughs> So it was a good day of boating. I think it is a good day of trying that it'll be fun, but the decision is that we don't jump together. Yeah. Nice. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Take care. Bye bye. Lovely people. Uh, yeah, also we say cheers instead of thank you. I don't know. Cheers is what Americans or British people say when you when you ching ching, when you um, have a toast. But cheers is what we say uh, in England when we say thank you. Oh my God, look at this. So all the wealthy older people go. The captain's club, boom. Wow, see the weather's very changeable, which is now. I would love to have a drink there, but yeah, need to save the money good. for our vlogging tour of the world. Oh my God, look at those swans. There's probably about 20 just there. So definitely not an exaggeration to say there's 100 here. Yeah, these are, if you look at what's there, it's mainly holiday homes or it's kind of like old, older people, old people's homes. Self-catering holidays, yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else we can find. This guy's gonna race me. Oh, he won. <laughs> oh. Let's catch him. I reckon, I reckon we're faster than him. Let's, you know, if you go behind someone, you can draft them. Oh no, he, he turned off. He gave up. Just like the squirrel. <laughs> Where am I now? Oh, this is an example of um, semi-detached housing. Oh, that's actually detached, but it looks very nice detached. Uh, there is. It's not detached at all. But each house looks amazing. <clears throat> For most people that live in Christchurch, Paul and Bournemouth are, if you took an average age, you're probably like crazy, you're probably like 
almost 60 or oh. you, know, you can even do uh, paddle boarding here we've got to find that place where we can sign the quick condolences right let's ask somebody excuse me you, you guys wouldn't happen to know where I can uh, find where the place where I can sign the, queen, the condolences for the Queen, would you? In Christchurch here, I don't think. Maybe in the Priory, yeah. Yeah. See that there? So I have to go into the... Well, I don't know whether they do it, but if you go left... Yeah. A little roundabout at the top of the road here, go left again, okay. and just keep going, it'll take you in. Is gates. that actually the Priory? That's the Priory. Oh, okay, so it's not a church. It's well, uh, it's a Priory church. Oh, so it's a Priory church. It's not a cathedral, is it? Not and a then this is no. just, I thought this was a Priory. Well, <laughs> this is not the Priory, this is just... Part of, that's the Priory church. Okay. Yeah, and this is part of the Priory. Yeah. Ah, okay, so that it's the separate... That would old historic type place. Ah, uh, yeah, I was thinking it's quite small for a Priory, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, there. so if I go around there, yeah, it yeah, takes me there. And top the little circle around yeah. and go left again. Yeah. And it just goes straight up and you'll see the gate. Okay. Oh, so you're saying this way, but can I go this way too? You can, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think what, I know. But I don't you think mean. it's so easy with the yeah. bicycle. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Um, so Winchester doesn't have a cathedral. Winchester has a cathedral. Oh, well, uh, uh, not you, Winchester. You, I, 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 you, I'm, have, you have to. Not be Winchester. A, I'm talking about Christchurch doesn't have Christ a cathedral. Because no, you have to be a city to have a cathedral. Okay, so this is a town. This is the town. Okay, so you okay. Don't have a city no town. cathedral. But Bournemouth. And Bournemouth is not a city. Ah, uh, but Bournemouth a city? I don't think so. No. In in uh, in kind of like the four strict terms, it's not a city. But I guess it's like it's, it's become a place, yeah. it become a city. Yeah, Winchester's is cathedral. Yeah, they're cities. Yeah. So that's the nearest uh, uh, cathedral. That's a long way away. Yeah. 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 So there's none in Dorset. No. Well, no cities. Dorchester, Dorchester doesn't have. No, I don't think there is one. Okay. I don't think so. Not that I can remember. Ah, I see. Thank you for that you uh, historic. Let's go that way to get in. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the advice. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. There you have it. No cathedral, not a city. Oh my God! I keep saying Winchester. Oh my god, look at this, what is that? That's the old ruins. How do I go? How does that work? See this? That's... That's worth it. I'm going to take you up there. And trust that no one steals my bike. Let's go. Let's go! This is my exercise for the day. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, it's a beautiful priory, priory church. Quite big. So this must be in the fort that we were looking at. Oh, a nice restaurant over there. Restaurant bar. Oh, let's get in there. <coughs> right. I fast tracked us to the cemetery and now to the priory. Let's go in and check out what we can find there and hopefully write a message to the Queen. Look at that. Very grand. Oh, look at all those flowers. This is it. She died a couple of days ago. That's what you get for being Queen of England for so many years. About 50 years. Amazing. Oh, there's CCTV cameras. 
So look, there's uh, even CCTV cameras in churches these days. See, everything evolves. All right, let's go in and sign. Not sign, but write a uh, note to the Queen. Let's pay our respects. So this is a typical church entrance in England. But if it was a cathedral, it'd be a bit more grand and probably four or five times the size. Hello. Am I allowed to log in here? You can take. Uh, this is just. You a, can take photographs, but keep it quiet. Okay. Um, where do I write a message? For, uh, At the uh, by the altar there. Thank you. Thank you. We have to be respectful because it is a place of worship. I'll take my hat off. Messy hair. This is just for like a personal note, like a note for to the queen. for the queen to yes. yeah, thank her for her service. Yes. yes, thank you. Thousands of people have come in and written something. So Great, it's very nice, and it'll all go into the royal archives. Oh, really? In the end. Okay. Yes. Wow. Every note will be will go to the royal archives. I'm every, sorry. every 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 note written would be yes 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 will be archived. So yes. this is my chance to prove I've been alive here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great. Thank you. Let's see some of the notes. R.I.P. Our wonderful Queen for seventy years of reign. God bless you. Keep smiling. Thank you for your dedication to service. You will always be remembered. Rest in peace. <laughs> Yeah. Selfie with the Queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. In the middle. I'm going to write my name. I'm going to put our YouTube channel. Lost. Funny. For the Royal Archives. Um, because I came here as an immigrant when I was five years old. So, thank you. For letting my family grow and develop in this great country. You have been my queen and the best queen ever. R I P. Let's do the smiley face. So that's the message. Not the best handwriting, but Leon Chen. Just make sure they get it right. I'll put my Chinese name. I'll look at the Chinese calligraphy. Right. That's done. Look at all these notes. All going to be archived. There's a scepter. What would it look like to you? 
I don't think we're allowed to be here, but that's what it feels like if you're the priest. <laughs> oh, wow. Didn't know you guys were going to get cathedral. Oh, not cathedral door. Church door. I guess we have to keep it down. See, all the churches in England, all the religious buildings are all kept very well in good order because the church does have a lot of money. This is a Protestant church, so we're Protestants in England. Which differentiates us from a lot of Europe, the, the, the Italians, the Vatican, they're all Catholic. But these are pictures of the Queen and Prince Prince Andrew. John Draper was here. Let's pray. First for the Queen and then also for our, for our future expeditions, exploits. you do the prayer is you say dear lord thank you for the service of our queen who has just passed we thank her for her um, amazing reign and keeping us safe in this great nation and also dear lord I hope you guide us on a great journey I can show the world wonderful places that um, are not normally shown or maybe shown in not the true light we can bring the truth to the world and then we say Amen See the impromptu prayer Amen that's what they teach you when you grow up in schools in England you have to pray but to be honest, it's a very secular nation. We don't have to pray too much, actually. They make us pray a bit in primary school. Look at that. I guess the circuit is nearly done. This is a Final part. It looks like a house of parliament here. I guess that's the, what happened there. Oh no, I broke it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Okay, let's just pretend nothing happened. Let's leave quietly. Oh my god. I need a haircut. I'm gonna get a Vulcan haircut. So wait for that to come. It's another place to stand and address the, the audience. Let's go around this way. For the complete 100 percent, 360 degree tour of this place. Here, just before we leave, is actually the 
model of the church. Model is not working. How does it work? Maybe it lights up. Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> I can't believe I met you guys. I actually forgot almost to come here because I was yeah. watching the swans. I started riding back and just realised, oh, I didn't actually sign something for the Queen. So did, yeah. you, did you write your note to the we Queen? Have oh, yeah. you, you have to write it because okay. apparently yes, know, where is it? it proves that we are around now because that's actually going to go to the Royal Archives. Yes. So if, if you haven't done anything important, that's probably the most yeah. important thing I've done. Where are you based in? <laughs> um, I grew up in Poole and uh, Bournemouth. And then uh, after university, I went, I went straight to China to, uh, to start business and, and, and travel around. And, I've done that, but but since the COVID thing, oh, I, had to, I had to let my business go mm -hmm. because it was health. It was like fitness related, mm -hmm. so now I have to. Um, I'm embarking on a new part of my life, new which venture. is which is uh, um, traveling and uh, keep moving and uh, learning about the world. And yeah, maybe well I'll start done. another business, um, thinking about some sort of hostel uh, mm -hmm. business. But yeah, so that's that's me. I want to wish you and you, and you guys, what about you guys? Have you my husband was born here. His parents were married here in the war. Ah, okay. we, we live Somerset way. Okay, now. Which is, now I'm Taunton. So. You were Muddyford. But I so, Somerset grew up is here. west of here, right? I grew up here, yeah. yeah in Christchurch? In Christchurch, yeah. Oh, Muddyford, great. Christchurch. Yeah. I was just saying, this place is way more quaint and nice than kind of Bournemouth or Poole. Um, Poole and Bournemouth have got quite big and yes, uh, modern, yeah. whereas yeah. that you come here and you see the small little places. And it's a nice slower, uh, yeah. slower pace of life. Yeah. But then my husband, he left at 21 and went to South Africa. Oh, South Africa. And then that was his journey. Oh, you did that? Life. How long did you spend in South Africa? I was there for four years. Okay. And then I met this young lady. In South Africa? In South yes. Africa. How's it? No, yeah. How's it? <laughs> through? How's it, I, was, I was born in Barton-on-Sea. That's just high cliff, just down the road. Yeah, yeah, we, um, yeah. we, we didn't know each other. That's an amazing story. Where it. did you meet in South Africa? Cape Town or Durban? Yeah. Johannesburg. Yeah. yeah. And how long did you? Four years. I was in? there ten years. Okay. Where's the South African twang? <laughs> I know South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I was 15. fifteen years old when she went when with I her became. parents. Okay. Okay. So. And five brothers and sisters and my yeah. dog. Yeah. And my father was fifty-eight. Yeah. So he was quite old, yeah. taking all the children to start a new life. Yeah. But I had most education here, so I just remembered we always lived in the country, and I loved the country. My other brothers and sisters. Yeah, no, no, this is very interesting because I was inspired to do this from a South African uh, young guy, um, oh, yes. and he just uh, went around doing. Uh, I just went to South Af South America, and I didn't do any any of this, and I realized like. It's a shame that I haven't been bringing out these uh, amazing places to, to, to the to the world. So he inspired me. This South African boy inspired me. Well, I never. Mm. And, yes. and so, uh, when did you leave South Africa? Why did you leave? I was because I wanted to come back to England, but then I met my husband. We married then. Yeah. Oh, so you it was my first back. stop on my world tour. <laughs> oh really? Did I was going to go on to Australia. Tour? Ah, oh, so you didn't, didn't do it? No, I got married. Oh, Came so home. <laughs> so I'm going to try and avoid getting married. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been married 51 years now. Oh, so you just had your... Um, golden. Yeah. Golden. Uh, yeah. Was it called go Golden yeah. Anniversary? Mm. And, and it, Golden uh, for the, uh, the Jubilee, is it the same type of system with 50 years Golden? Yes, yeah. the platinum yeah. is 70, isn't it? So did they have... The, I but think it was golden. Diamond Jubilee. Diamond is 60, I think. Yeah. Okay, and so yeah, she didn't make it Minus to platinum, but she made it to... To, to, to Diamond Jubilee. Yes. yes. Yeah. Platinum, I think. Yeah. She was, I mean, what a remarkable mm. person. Yeah, and, and she, she made it there, and, and yeah, and then I think I think she was, uh, uh, she wanted to get to the, the 70, right? Yes, I agree. She, yeah, she, she could have given up earlier. Yeah. Mm. Maybe because yeah. I think they must have kept it hush hush about her state of um, health, maybe, yeah. just to. Yeah. But that generation, because they experienced the war, yeah. they knew how tough it was, and you just got on with it but I'm afraid the generation now kind of the slightest little thing goes wrong and you give up in a way not saying everybody is like that but no. that generation was strong yeah and they just kept going and kept going mm. to uh, well make promises which she had done for her country yes yeah. mm. remarkable and that smile 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. But, but never give up, right? As never Churchill give up. said. As no, Churchill that's said. one good, good way. Never it's a good give thing up. to learn mm. everybody. Mm. You just, if mm. you want to do something, you must do it. Yeah. 